Hello, I'm Graham Stewart. I'm Kilnbridge's project director uh, and I am responsible for the delivery of these magnificent structures. You see here in the background are six heads. The ones in the foreground are four intake heads. In the background, the two uh, cooling heads are part of the cooling water system for Hinkley Point C. Uh, the large heads weigh in the region of 5,000 tonnes and the smaller ones, the outtakes, weigh about 3,500 tonnes. Together with our client Balfour Beatty, the designer Jacobs, reinforcement detailer Ada, concrete supplier Hansen, reinforcement supplier Express, and our specialist formwork supplier and partner EFCO. We spent in the region of three years delivering these heads a peak. We had some 200 plus people on site, a mixture of engineers, surveyors, planners, construction managers, carpenters, steel fixers, concrete men delivering this. Some really highly complex structures, a lot of reinforcement. Some of the most complex reinforcement I've ever worked on in my career. Somewhere in the region of six to 700 kgs per cube. It's extremely dense, highly complex, and really needed to be knitted together. I'm Michael Tiffany, I'm Killenbridge Construction Manager looking after these Class 1 nuclear structures. The build itself was difficult, we, built, we worked through a pandemic which left a lot of strain and a lot of other pressures on the workforce themselves. A lot of workforce from abroad didn't get home to their families because of the pandemic. So the whole job here we came very family net project so we created a lot of good bonds. We held a lot of events. We supported the local community, the local food banks here in Avonmouth. We Every three months we would do a collection for the food bank. We also have done lots of other charity works during the pandemic. We carried out painting in some schools and renovation works to help them. We sent our carpenters there, helped them build some extra sheds and done up the garden works and done some cleaning around them. This project had a very difficult reinforcement, very tight tolerances and that was not only achieved by a lot of time work with design but we introduced uh, a 3D modelling. So steel fixers had to learn new graphs here, learn new skills, and tablets was introduced and reinforcement was fixed to zero to five mil by using 3D modelling system, some of its first kind. So it was a step, we're moving a step into the future with that. So in the background, what you, over my shoulder is what you see is one of the intake heads and these will be taken to the Bristol Channel and dropped on the, and lowered into the, on top of the tunnels. From there, the, the water travels down in through the cooling system, down through the tunnel and in. And you will see the copper nickel bars and baffle plates on the tops. These are installed to one mil tolerance, and this is where the water is taken straight into the power station Hinkley Point. In the centre of this, there's a shaft area, and all this was bespoke made in the US by EFCO. Really difficult to install. It all had to be where, we, as I mentioned, there's no ties in the formwork system due to water, so we had to make a, a fully sealed box. And doing this, we had to create a formwork that could work in tension and in compression as well at the same time. And this was only done by having some of the best workforce in the UK at the time. <laughs>